very kind. day of spring to everybody. Today is the first day of spring. Uh, outside, the flowers are in bloom. Inside, Snoop Dogg is lighting those flowers and smoking them. <laughs> we have a big show tonight. This afternoon, just outside our studio, in fact, Dr. Dre got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That is, that is literal street cred right there. And tonight, the doctor and his friends, Snoop Dogg and 50 Cent, are here to celebrate that yeah. occasion. It's not just a local thing, by the way. There are celebrations going on all around the world. In uh, London, the pubs, as you can see, are f filled with revelers. Uh, you, there are fans flooding the streets in Buenos Aires. In Sydney, Australia, fireworks are lighting the sky. India is celebrating with a parade of elephants. In Beijing, men are so excited they're punching themselves in the tender parts. And Florida, they're doing, well, what, what they do in Florida. <laughs> These celebrations have even reached North Korea, <laughs> where they are sipping on John and Juice, so. And here we are, celebrating in person. The World Class Wrecking Crew will be with us shortly. Today was the first day of the NCAA college basketball tournament. This is that magical time of the year when the coworker who knows the least about sports wins $900 in your March Madness pool. <laughs> The top seeds are UConn, Houston, Purdue, and Oppenheimer, I think, I don't know. The Oscars. <laughs> Gonzaga is playing in their 25th consecutive tournament, which is very impressive, particularly when you consider that it's a totally made up university from a non-existent place. <laughs> Those of you who watch the show regularly know this is the time of the year when I question the existence of Gonzaga University. <laughs> this is my Kate Middleton, okay? <laughs> And then after the tournament, we go into the NBA Finals and right into the Summer Olympics, which are gonna be very different uh, this time around. Now that the pandemic is behind us, the officials running the Olympic Village in Paris have lifted the intimacy ban that was put in place for athletes in 2021. They're planning to distribute 300,000 condoms. There are 14,250 athletes staying in the Olympic Villages, 300,000 condoms, which works out to about 21 condoms per athlete, which, <laughs> You know, if you're having that much sex during the Olympics, you're probably gonna miss the Olympics. You should... <laughs> but not only is this the plan, it's a mandate. Even the Olympic rings are getting a makeover. This is the new Olympic logo, and I have to say, I, I like it. That's a very Paris thing to do. Every once in a while, the French need to remind the world that being horny is, their, like, their thing. <laughs> the only bad thing about sex during the Olympics is when you finish and your partner holds up a score. Meanwhile, here in the increasingly less United States, there were primaries in five states today, Florida, Illinois, Kansas, Ohio, and Arizona. Biden and Trump will be the nominees for each party. There's no question about that. The only question really is how much of this we can take. You know, Trump went on a, a swamp creature named Sebastian Gorka's web show yesterday to make <laughs> this compelling pitch to Jewish voters. Any Jewish person that votes for Democrats uh, hates their religion, they hate everything about Israel, and they should be ashamed of themselves. That's also the opening line of the speech he'll be giving at his granddaughter's bat mitzvah. Uh, <laughs> you think he even knows what ashamed is? I mean, he's never experienced it. How much do you think he even knows about Israel? He probably thinks the capital of Israel is Baba Ganoush. This, <laughs> Trump thinks the Gaza Strip is a gentleman's club. He, and he doesn't care about anyone but himself. This is what he posted on Instagram. He wrote, a great honor to have won both the club championship and the senior club championship this week at Trump International, and then posted this video. Yeah! Let's go! And then he billed them for the hats. He's, uh... <laughs> so he's now won the club championship, the senior championship, and the super senior championship. It's amazing how often you can win when you own the club. <laughs> and also cheat at golf. And while Liger Woods is hitting the links, Fox News is focused on Joe Biden's footwear. Here they are, the Joe Biden sneaker. Wide sole, no doubt great for stability. And the president does have a history of stumbling. 
Okay, so President Biden's rocking some new sneakers, apparently, maximum support lifestyle sneakers, that is. And that is causing even more concern over his fitness to serve another term in the White House. Is it, though? Is it really? <laughs> Remember when Hillary Clinton was running and they said she was too weak to open a pickle jar? These people, if Joe Biden paid $130,000 to silence a porn star, they'd be focused on how shaky the handwriting was on the check. <laughs> Donald Trump, meanwhile, his first of what will be many criminal trials is the Stormy Daniels hush money case in New York. The judge yesterday ruled that both Stormy and Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, will be allowed to testify, which means there's a very good chance the court stenographer will have to type the words mushroom and penis during the <laughs> trial. But it'll be fun to see them all together again. This is like the closest he's gonna get to an all-star cast reunion. <laughs> Trump is bringing back all the worst best people. You remember Paul Manafort, his former campaign manager? He was convicted of multiple felonies. He's the guy who gave polling data to Russian intelligence and then got pardoned by Trump. Well, Trump reportedly wants Manafort to help oversee the Republican National Convention, which I'm surprised he could do because, you know, when Manafort was being sentenced, he claimed he had too many medical problems to go to prison, but I guess he magically healed up. And who better to run your election campaign than a man who isn't allowed to vote in that election? <laughs> Donald Trump uh, took a brief break from complaining about the financial judgments against him to weigh in on Kate Middleton today. He says the altered photo Kate Middleton posted isn't a big deal because everyone doctors their photos. And you know what? For the first time this century, I agree with Donald Trump. It really isn't a big deal. I don't know why people are going nuts. This week in the United States, there have been more Google searches for Kate Middleton than for Joe Biden or Donald Trump. We finally did it. We made America Kate again. <laughs> Kate, or someone who looks kind of like her, was supposed to spotted grocery shopping over the weekend with either Prince William or someone who resembles Prince William. Kate has not been seen in public since she had surgery back in January, which, of course, led to all sorts of rumors about her whereabouts and well-being. Everyone's putting together clues to find the princess. It's like an international game of Zelda is happening right now. <laughs> I bet there's a, I bet maybe she got a bad perm and is waiting for her hair to grow out, you know? <laughs> but this shows you how different it is in the UK. Kate goes missing for a few weeks, the whole country goes berserk. Meanwhile, we haven't seen Melania since 2021. <laughs> I, you know, it's, they're not speculating that the palace, that Buckingham Palace is working on a top secret plan for Kate to return to public life. I don't know why that would have to be a secret. It's times like these, I'm grateful that our royal family is the Kardashians. I mean, they don't, <laughs> they don't do anything top secret. They put every bit of everything on Hulu for anyone to see it whenever they want. And I appreciate it. As I mentioned earlier, you know, our show tonight is dedicated to a local music legend named Dr. Dre yeah. from Compton. <laughs> Much be loved. He is a renaissance man. He's a producer. He's a rapper. Uh, he's a headphone magnate. And coming this fall to ABC, he's about to start saving some lives, too. Call Pete! Call Pete! Doctor! Doctor! Help! Help! What seems to be the problem? <laughs> what the f*** is this? This man has no penis. Huh? I have a penis. Not according to what I'm looking at. Uh, Dr. Broaddus, take a look at this. I can't see Yeah, try using this. Ah, here he is. Mm. Let me try it. Well, you have a look. I think we're gonna need a specialist. Dr. Jackson. What do you think? <sighs> Sorry. Oh, you guys gotta see this. Holy mackerel. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna need you to talk me through this. To the left, to the left. You gotta grab it, squeeze it. I'm there trying. It is right there. You, I know it's small, but put it in there. You gotta. There you go, there you go, there you go. I think I found it. Look like a piece of bubble gum. A juicy fruit. Guys, I, I, could you put that back? It's, I, I came in for a colonoscopy. I don't know what's going on here, but I, I, maybe I'll come back later, like tomorrow or something. Relax, nephew. Relax. 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 Cheer to the next episode.
Wait, what's that? Let's turn that up. Now the car clears. More smoke. Clear. Shot. One shot. I've been shot nine times. It's a weird flex, but okay. only on ABC, mother. Oh, thank you, Dr. Matrani.